little tiny smell is to come quite welcome to another video <laughs> hello mate Welcome to another video! Ah. Welcome to another video. Ah. It's been a hot minute, isn't it? This week I have uh, built a little apartment. It's like a little modern apartment for you to enjoy today. Okay? So, yeah, I thought I'd build a little apartment today in San Myshuno. I don't like building, like, big apartments. I only like building small apartments. I feel like um, big apartments you just can't you can't fill it enough. So yeah, I can't personally build in like big apartments. I have to build in in small ones because I can't clutter it enough. Okay. Uh, here's me adding some little lights because I like to see what I'm doing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I thought I'd go for this sort of wood tone effect. As you can see, being added right now to each room. I thought I'd add a continual theme, okay? It's in each room. Add the white, that's it, come on. So, yeah, I thought I, I had a little look on um, sort of Pinterest to see if any, see if any sort of modern apartments were on there. And found a couple which kind of looked like this, so I thought, hey, why not? I'm gonna add some uh, kitchen flooring right there from City Living. There you go. Stunning. Oh, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Add some pillars here. Give it a real modern effect. Modern! Got some kitchen counters from the new uh, home design pack thing. I can never remember the name. Every video you scroll through, I can never remember the name. What is with it? Okay. Bloody annoying. <sighs> Add a little fridgey fridge in a second. Oh, clockwork. <laughs> oh, silly. Wrong angle. Silly Billy. I really love these sort of um, cookers that you can add in separately, like a separate cooker and a, a separate countertop cooker. Really good, really cool. And I always do this with every build. Every sort of kitchen, I'll add like a little, um, a little fence there. It's like a little trim, like a little border, which is quite good, seriously. Oh, it's me adding some clutter crap to the kitchen because I love a good clutter, okay? A clutter is what makes a build more realistic, ladies and jelly beans. Here's me sort of organising all the crap that I want in the kitchen. So I'm just adding it to a counter to which then I can add later. With the shelf here, look, see? Is everyone excited for the, um, the cottage? The cottage pack that's coming out next month, the expansion pack. I'm not really. Not particularly. I'm not really into farming. I know everyone sort of jizzes over farming, but I'm just not into it. I've built a farm once and it just wasn't. It's alright. Check it out my gallery. Um. Here's me just adding some sauces, some olives. Why are those olives some bloody massive? What olives do you know are like that big? Because if you do the comparison to like sim to human, it's going to be like that big. Okay. Don't know about you, but I don't think olives are the size of an orange, okay? Olive, orange, two separate things, okay? Two very different ideas. Thank you, thank you. And there's some little planty plants. This is gorgeous. I'm dead proud of this build, actually. I never really build apartments. I always build, like, houses from scratch, but... 
I thought, let's let's do something different. Let's do an apartment this week. Okay. An apartment I did. Okay. Me adding some potty pots. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, use the tool mold in a minute. Lower them down a bit. Because I hate it when you level things up. And there's always like a little gap. Bloody annoying. What is with that EA? I always do like these little um, microwave things. Sort of shrink down a cabinet. And then put a microwave on top. Because I hate the way you put a microwave on. You can only put it on certain angles and stuff. And it's always it's always far too forward. Doesn't look realistic. Now I'm adding a chopping board. I know you can get the chopping boards in uh, debug mode, but I never sort of, I never sort of. They're always one solid colour. Whereas I like this one from the. Uh, I can't remember what pack this is from. One with a little ice cream emoji on it. Cool kitchen. I think it's cool kitchen. So yeah, I thought I'd add this as a little um, as a little extra. Just adjusting it. So there you go. Look at that. How good is that? A little knife block next to it. Really struggled with that knife block for some reason. Don't ask me why. Oh, that's gorgeous. I thought I'd add a little bread basket here with the debug menu. Get some bread. Look. Look at that. The lady that lives in this apartment loves a bit of fresh bread. She loves a bit of bread. Is a table from Dine Out. Not Dine Out. Home Design. The design kit, okay. I always do this as well because I always feel like the chairs are always too far out when you add them. So I um I sort of I sort of Add all the chairs, and then add more chairs, but move them forward and then delete them, as you can see here. Whoopsie, one too many. Just tucks them in a bit more, makes it look a bit realistic. That table is usable. The, the, the chair on the far corner is most usable. I don't think you can use the other chairs. But you know what? Give a crap, okay? I don't care. And I don't care. And it feels so good to say I swear that I don't care. Bit of Cheryl Cole there for you. Ha <laughs> ha! Adding a little ruggy rug. I love these rugs from the Nifty Knitting Kit. The one in the kitchen I've just placed. And I hate it that you have to use the debug when you like. Like hidden objects. Just have it on there. Bloody annoying. Also, loving these new sofas from the new pack. The new home design pack thingy. Look at it. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. Again, it adds to that sort of modern theme that I was going for. I've used sort of a combination of packs this time. I've used um, Eco Lifestyle... Base game, tiny living. Oh, that's gorgeous. Come on, add those curtains, babe. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Yep, yeah, that's it, babe. One more. That's it. There you go. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought I'd lower these down from um, Parenthood. I think it's Parenthood that pack. Add these like little mini curtains. Again, just adds a bit of realism to the game, doesn't it? Makes it a bit different. Makes it a bit fun. Ha <laughs> ha! I always love these sort of um, lamps. They remind me of sort of like an architect's lamp. Which is great. Add a little light there from Bowling Nights. I love these rugs from um, the new pack. 
Don't they great? I love that sort of boho, that boho look. Bohemian. Rhapsody. Rhapsody. Yeah. Oh, I didn't half fanny about with this table. Jesus Christ. Here, look. Two. Elevate. Lower it down. Lower up, lower it down, down up, down up. He's made his mind up. Ha <laughs> ha! Do the same here with the chair. Look, delete that chair. That's it. I don't think that chair is usable. So, yeah, won't be able to use it. Okay. A little shelf, shelf for more clutter. Ha <laughs> ha! Absolutely love a bit of cluttering. Don't you? Why do you not love a bit of cluster in? Who doesn't love a bit of cluster? <laughs> love that little shelf. OMPS shell, whatever it is. The little red shelf. Bestest invention a modder has ever created. For clutter run. Clutter run. Love a bit of clutter in. Can I make it any more obvious? So silly. <sighs> I tried to think of like a little backstory for like a, a person that would live in this place. I thought maybe like I thought I was going off the theme of the new pack, which is sort of like a, a home designer type pack. Um, I was going off a sort of yeah. I wanted the person that lives in this apartment to be a sort of home designer, knows what she's doing. Bit quirky. Bit nuts. Question. No, no, because you're nuts. And also a bit modern. I feel like she's a modern gal. I feel like she's earned her pennies from doing loads of design work for people. So she's got a nice fancy New York inspired apartment. That's great. Absolutely great. Haha! <laughs> Uh, this was a pain in the ass to do this one. This was an absolute pain in the bum bum to design this little desk area. So there's just so much to it. Don't even get me started with this bloody cork board. Fannied about with that for bloody ages. I do like doing apartments though. I think it's made. I managed to make an apartment. I managed to do this in about an hour and a half. Normally, with like a fresh build from scratch, I spend about a good five, six hours on a build. But yeah, I like this one. I like doing something a bit less time consuming. Which is nice. You sort that chair out, babe. That's it. Twizzle it. To ears on the chair. To ears on the good. Ah. So silly. Ha <laughs> ha. Adding a little um, entrance way here. Also use the tool mod to get rid of that door because that apartment. Look, that door there is what was the door on this apartment. Okay, got rid of the door. Changed it to a university door. Made it more modern. Okay. Because this is what, Sheep Street. And these apartments, they're like modern on the outside, but then absolutely crap on the inside. It's like really old fashioned, doesn't suit the aesthetic at all. Adding some little shoes. Shoes. Got some nice little pickies there. Oh, that's gorgeous, that. Absolutely gorgeous. So yeah. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of this video. I'm going to finish my little piece to camera now. Okay. Because who wants me to annoy you watching the rest of this crap? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the end of my video piece. 
hope you enjoy this video enjoy the rest of the build and i will see you next time don't click off this video yet because it's not finished okay it's more buildings to be done okay keep enjoying it okay put a lot of time and effort into these videos okay <laughs> anyway stay safe don't be a bell end enjoy your life enjoy this video and see you next time
Thank you.